Hey guys, it's John here, and I'm going to be showing you how to get the Benigo controller. Um, so we've already covered how to get the driver, which is the real cheat. And getting the controller is a very similar process. Something though I want to mention, before even trying to set up a Benigo at all, make sure you have 64-bit JDK. So if you search Google for JDK download, first link's usually good. And you can download the JDK here. You can either get update 91 or update 92. It doesn't matter. Hit accept to agree with the license. And then choose Windows x64.exe. That will get you the installer. And then you can install the JDK. After you've done that, then you can come and you can install both the driver and, and then the controller. So the controller, to install the controller, it's the exact same process as the driver. You go over to clone and download. You click download zip. You can extract the zip to anywhere you want. Mine did not extract to where I wanted it. So I'm very confused. Probably Windows Beta. So I'm going to try that again. Um, okay. Controller. I'm just going to extract inside the driver folder. All right. So with that extracted, you're just going to go in there. You're going to double click on run and it'll actually build and run the controller. So before you do this, I want to mention before you ever run the controller, you need to have the driver, the main cheat running. So of course you can run that just like that. You can see, make sure that the features are working like ESP and everything. Then you can run the controller. When you run the controller for the first time, just like the, with the driver, it's going to build first. All right, then press any key to continue, and it'll run the controller. So there you go. That's the controller menu. Um, if you want to move it, hit escape in game, and then you can move it anywhere you want, including to other monitors. Um, I like to have it down here. It's my favorite position. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty much it. And then the defaults are numpad, so you can see I'm turning them on and off, the plugins. You can see ESP. Oops, sorry, ESP. See, it disables there. I turn it back on. There you go. So, everything you know, you can control it like this. If you want to hide it so that it's smaller, you just hit F9. And if you want to change the hockey, move your mouse over the plug and then you want to change the hockey of right click and then click on a key for the new hockey. So, for example, if I want this one to be 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, those are actual numbers 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. You can see. I can control it like that. Now, if I want to set it back to the numpad, I can just do that. We support any key, by the way. So if you want to do space, if you want to do caps lock, if you want to do tab, it doesn't matter. We support every key. Um, so really, really um, simple to use, hopefully for you guys, and uh, should clear up a lot of stuff. Um, also, the menu saves whenever you exit, saves every couple seconds, so you'll be covered. So, for example, if I close out the controller and I rerun the controller, you can see my hotkeys are the same, the position's the same, everything's good. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope this clears up a lot, and uh, happy cheating.